Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find the square root of 4489 by long division method. So without wasting any time, let's start. The number here is 4489. First step in finding the square root by long division method is to group the numbers in pairs starting from the units place. So starting from 9, 9 and 8 will become one group and 4 and 4 will be the other group. So we have two groups 44 and 89. The next step is completely optional. I am going to write the squares of the numbers here on the right hand side so that it is easy for us to find the square number when we are doing the long division. So 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81 and 10 square is 100. Now comes the next step. The next step is to find the number whose square is equal to 44 or just less than 44. Here we see that 6 square is 36. So 6 is the number whose square is just less than 44 because 7 square will be more than 44. This square number 6 will be our divisor as well as our quotient. So 6 times 6 will be 36. Now we are going to subtract the two numbers. 44 minus 36 will give us 8. Now the next step is to bring down the next group of numbers. So the next group is 8, 9. So we are going to bring down 8, 9. So our new dividend is 889. Now to find the new divisor, we need to add the same number 6 to the divisor. So we got 12. And we are going to annex some other number here and that digit which we are going to annex or add here is chosen in such a way that the product of the new divisor with the digit gives the result which is equal to 889 or just less than 889. So let us now find out the digit by trial and error method. If we add 3 here we can get 9. So 123 times 3, any number which we are going to annex, we have to take the product with the same number. We are adding 3 here, we have to multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 1 is 3. So this is 369 which is 2 less than 889. The other number which can give 9 in the units place is 7. So let us try 7, 127 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49, 4 is carried over, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 4 is 18, so we will write 8, 1 is carried over, 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8, so we got the same number as 889, so we are going to annex 7 here, as we are annexing 7, the quotient will also be 7 and the product we got is 889 which we are going to subtract. So our remainder is 0. As we annex the number 7 here, we have to add 7 here too for the next divisor. So this will be 134. And as our remainder is 0, we are going to stop. And the number in the quotient is the square root of 4489. So the square root of 4489 is 67. This is our final answer. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.